Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video, today I'm going to show you how to download and install Audacity. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. I'm just going to jump right in here, I'm going to type Audacity. Next you want to go to the first site right here, so audacityteam.org. Then you can immediately go ahead and download this one actually right here. Or if you want a specific one, you can actually go to downloads here. Choose the one you want, so Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm going to go for Windows here. And as you can see here, you also have a couple of options. Now this is actually immediately the setup, the installer. And this right here is if you want it in the format of a zip file. But I'm just going to do this one here. As you can see, it will start downloading right here up in the right corner. So once it's done here, we're actually going to do show in folder. As you can see, it will be right here in my downloads. I'm just going to click it. Say yes if Windows asks you. Then we're going to do any other language. I'm just going to do English. Click OK. Going to do next. Same. You can do next here. If you want to install it on a different place, make sure to browse it right here. But I advise you to leave it as Audacity wants you to install it. Going to do next here. This is a preference. This is if you want to actually uh, create a desktop shortcut or reset the previous preferences. I'm just going to do next here. Then right here, just going to do install. As you can see, it's fairly quick. Then here, we can just keep this uh, checked so that we get immediately uh, Audacity launched. But it's possible that you have any plugins that you, for example, use for a DAW, so uh, a music software. Before launching Audacity, it will actually start searching for plugins. And this you can actually skip if you don't want it to actually use uh, plugins that you have in other software. But that depends. That's only for the people who have, as I said, a DAW with multiple plugins installed. For the rest here, you can just go ahead and do a K here. And as you can see, we're here in Audacity itself. As you can see, fairly simple and straightforward. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe to us, it would be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.